Now to our top story tonight. From looting to vandalism, dozens of businesses were hit hard during last month's protest turned riots. Since then, the Portland Business Alliance has been assessing the damage for city leaders, and we have just learned it has cost business owners millions of dollars. Fox 12's Haley Rush joins us now live with the details. Haley. Nora, shop owners were asked to go online and take that survey so city leaders could get a better idea of what these businesses needed after that very first night of protests. Well, the results are in. Take a look. <laughs> Nearly $5 million. That's how much in property damages business owners have faced since last month's riots, according to a survey provided by the Portland Business Alliance, then passed on to the city today. <laughs> Add on to that any loss of merchandise, plus not being able to open or reopen, and survey results show a total economic loss of around $23 million. It was just so shocking. I'd never seen anything like that in Portland before. Maureen Hofberg is one of the people who took the survey as co-owner of the store Watchworks, a 30-year-old staple downtown. They must have bashed the front door seven or eight times, went around to the next window, tried to damage and get in that way, got to the third window, which is a quite a large window, and eventually was able to break that window and get in. Once inside, Hofberg says looters stole merchandise. I would have to think that we are in the over half a million dollar range for sure. According to the survey results, 93 people responded with almost all business owners answering that they will be able to reopen after the riots, despite the extra challenges. Hofberg, however, answered no. We are definitely going to be very, um, you know, not so out, out in the open in the future. Moving forward, Hofberg says they'll rent a suite of offices for private appointments, citing COVID and the riots as her reasoning. We had a really lovely large storefront and that just isn't achievable right now. Um, and we kind of honestly for the safety of ourselves and the safety of the few employees that we will hire back um, need to really keep a low profile going forward. A spokesperson for the Portland Business Alliance made it clear this survey is only a small sampling from people who responded, adding that it's safe to say the total loss for businesses is actually higher. We love Portland. We love the uniqueness of Portland. We really, you know, we're torn that we're not going to be in downtown Portland any longer. As for what happens next, we're told the results were sent to the Portland Bureau of Emergency Management. A spokesperson there says they'll then send the results to the mayor's office. The results were also sent to Prosper Portland. We reached out to Prosper Portland tonight and did not immediately hear back. Reporting live, Haley Rush, Fox 12 Oregon.